still at SD1 level, it is 100% DSA. At SD2 level, it is 50-60% mm-hmm. of DSA. But that Correct. you should also focus on the other 40% of the system design right. or how building applications at scale. So currently I am working with Expedia as an SG2. So I had offer from Disney plus Hotstar. And before this, mm-hmm. I used to work for SAP Labs. Hi, and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys. I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys. So today, the interview experience that we're going to talk about is basically Disney plus Hotstar and it is a really, really nice company out there. We haven't heard a lot of interview experiences about this company, so it's better and obviously good so that, you know, we have Hrithik today with us and he can actually help us out with the interview experience. Also, Hrithik has written an interview experience article for us on the website of Coding Ninjas. I'll put the link in the description below and you can obviously go and have a look at it. So let's welcome Hrithik and see how it goes. Okay. So hi Hrithik, how are you? I'm good. Hi Kabir, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Hrithik, can you give me a small introduction about yourself so that we can move forward with the interview experience? Yeah. So currently I'm working with Expedia as an SG2. So I had offer from Disney plus Hotstar. And before this, mm-hmm. I used to work for SAP Labs for That's two great. years. And I completed my graduation from IIT Roorkee. So that's, that's, that's really nice. Yeah. Okay. So moving forward to the interview experience, how many rounds were actually there? So basically I got a call from the recruiter that uh, we are hiring and then we proceeded. So there were in all four rounds. So mm-hmm. the first two rounds were basically on, based on a DSA and the third round was on okay. system design. And then the fourth mm-hmm. round was on the kind of a managerial round. Okay, that's that's really nice. So the first two rounds you said were DSA, which means both of them were video call rounds or one was an online assessment and other was a DSA? Uh, no, so the both were DSA rounds. So both happened to be on mostly Zoom, I guess. So it was a video conferencing. In the first round, we had two questions uh-huh. on DSA and the second round also we had two questions on DSA. So when we talk about the first round out there, how much time did you get to solve those two questions? So it was around 60 minutes. So the first 10 minutes was on the introduction part and then the 50 minutes were mostly on the coding part. Okay. And when we talk about the difficulty out there, we think, uh, you know, you have 60 minutes and uh, out of that, the first 10 minutes obviously goes off for, you know, introducing yourself and all. Because unlike an online assessment, when you give out, you know, an interview, the face-to-face or the video call interview, and it is a DSA round, if it is 60 minutes, at least 10 to 15 minutes are wasted while you wait you know, give your introduction and all. So you get a time span of around 45, 50 minutes. Yeah. Which says you, you know, for two questions, you get 20 to 25 minutes, right? So right. how difficult was the question and how much time did you take to solve them? So the questions were like, whatever you solve on lead code, right? So it is a, it was uh-huh. an application or one step ahead of that. So basically, if okay. you have solved questions on lead code or interview bit or whatever platform you work on, like uh, code on. Right. So it was just one step ahead of it. So, right. yeah. So it's all about like if in first five, 10 minutes you work on the question part, understanding the questions, and then you give the very basic approach and then you try to optimize the solution. So in the first okay. round, most of both the questions were on uh, DP. Okay. That's, that's really nice. And when you talk about the second round, what were those questions? Like so, uh, again, uh, difficulty if you talk about was it easy, medium or hard? How, how would you rate that round? Yeah, so it was like medium or medium hard, somewhere between okay. medium hard. So the questions were around graphs. So mm-hmm. yeah, the same pattern, like 60 minutes and then the initial introduction and projects you have worked on and then the 45 minutes right. where you work on. Them. So when we talk about, you know, these two rounds, both of them are DSA, 60, 60 minutes each, two questions each. Would you mark it to be medium for a beginner student as well or somebody who's actually good at lead code only for them it can be around medium you know for beginner students it's going to be very hard to solve those questions so for beginners <laughs> is what i see key beginners can take some time to solve it because as it was not that straightforward like how, how you see it in lead code right so it was a one okay. step ahead of that so you have to you, to, you have to figure it out like on the way key right. first we need to break this problem into this and then we can solve this so it you can say Correct. it was a combination of uh, two questions together into one question right okay and then moving on to the system design round which was the third round what actually happened in that 
So in system design round, it was like mostly focused on low level design. So although they also asked me about the high level design of that question, it was like, you can say it like designing a XYZ app or it was a question like that. Mm-hmm. So the focus was mostly on the LLD. So he asked me to write down the databases and then the, how would you approach the services? What all services would you have? And the most important part regarding system design is like making the choices uh, you have two three designs right so you have to figure out, out which mm-hmm. is the b- best design suited for that app okay so again talking about the system design round what would you rate the difficulty easy medium or hard this round was towards the hard level is what i feel and i wouldn't won't rate it medium because some of the questions were quite tricky in those and most of the questions were not that much what i've seen in other interviews of other companies or stuff like that right. on the internet okay and now finally moving on to the hr round what happened in that so in hr round most of the like questions were like it was a technical discussion round so it was not a one problem it was a very random discussion like you what do you think about this is not a question as in but i'm just giving an example what do you think about zero the app so how does trading takes place okay. how can you optimize it uh-huh. or like this is just an example. The question was different, but it was the mm-hmm. application of such kind of questions. And it was not a one okay. question, but like spread across various technologies and various tech stacks. Okay. They just wanted to, you know, brainstorm a bit with other topics as well. Yeah. You, I guess. How do you make design choices is what <clears throat> the manager wanted to look into. Okay. That's really nice. So now, since, you know, I think you've been in the industry for a while now and, you know, you have quite an experience for giving interviews. What would be that, you know, one advice or a piece of, advice which you would like to give the juniors coming up or the people viewing this video to do so that they can get better at interviews and you know crack product based companies okay so for interview specific i would like to focus like people at early stages of their career like in software development should focus mostly on dsa at the same time you should also dsa is not everything to be honest like it is what i feel because okay. if, to be honest like system design is what brings things right you bring value to the company right mm-hmm. dsa is just right. a game like okay you should focus on it like still at sd1 level it is 100 percent dsa at sd2 level it is 50 60 mm-hmm. percent of dsa but that Correct. you should also focus on the other 40 percent of the system design Correct. or how building applications at scale Correct, correct, correct. That's that's really nice. And I really thank you so much, Ritik, for giving us this interview experience out. Again, guys, if you want to read this interview experience, I'll put the link in the description below. You can always go and have a look. And uh, I hope we shoot another video pretty soon, Ritik. So sure. I'll see you in the next one, guys. If you like the video, hit the like button and the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to Coding Ninjas to have more videos like this. So I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding, guys.